Hi everyone, it's Mio and today I have a crochet tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to crochet these cute little stars. As you can see, I turned these cute little twinkle stars into little clips and the reason why I did that is because I'm really into planners lately and I think these make wonderful clips for your planner. It's just another cute paper clip alternative to hold your place in your planner. As you can see, all I have to do is find my spot by picking up where the star is. But just because I am obsessed with planners doesn't necessarily mean you need a planner to create this adorable tutorial. You can use these stars for pretty much anything to hold your spot in a book, or if you don't even want to make them into clips, you can put them in your hair, your clothes, you can use it to decorate whatever it is that you have. And if you do decide to create this adorable little craft, please do share them with me. I love to see what you guys create and what you utilize them for in your everyday life. It's just part of the enjoyment of my day. Please share them with me on Instagram. My username is flyingmio. You can just tag me in there and I'll be sure to take a look. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial started, shall we? For this project, you're going to need some yellow yarn and a crochet hook. So this is the hook I'm using. I'm using a 2.75 millimeter hook. I'm just going to place the hook underneath the yarn and what I'm going to do is pull it a little bit to form a small little loop. I'm using my fingers to hold the loop. Place your hook underneath the yarn. Pull some yarn through that loop you created. Put it underneath the yarn. Pull through the second loop you created and tighten it up and you'll create your very first chain. I'm going to expand this chain, so I'm just going to take the hook underneath the yarn and pull through again, underneath yarn and pull through again until I form three chains. So here's my tiny little piece of string that looks like adorable little braid. I'm going to take my hook and place it through the very first chain I created. And when I do that, you'll see that there's two little loops on my crochet hook. I'm going to take some yarn and pull through both of them and I created a tiny little circle. To expand the circle, I'm going to do one more single chain and now I'm going to take my needle and place it through the center of my circle, grab some yarn with my crochet hook, and you'll see two little hoops on my crochet hook, grab some yarn and pull through both of them. Again, put my needle through the center, take some yarn, you'll see two little loops on my crochet hook, pull some yarn and pull through both of them, and I created another little stitch. Again, I'm just going to repeat this process for a total of five times and each time I'm putting my crochet hook through the center of my circle. And as you can see, all the little stitches I create will fan out into what looks like a larger circle. Once you have at least five chains, as you can see here, this is what my loop looks like. I'm going to close it up. I'm going to put my hook through the very first stitch I created. I'm going to grab some yarn and pull through all of the loops on my crochet hook and I've completed my circle. As you can see, it's a larger circle than what I began with. So let's make it larger. I'm just going to do a simple chain, take some yarn, pull through, and I'm going to go through the very first stitch I created. Take your crochet needle, push through, grab some yarn, and you'll see two hoops on my crochet hook. Grab some yarn and pull through both of the loops and that's my first stitch. Now instead of taking your hook to the next stitch, I'm putting it through the exact same one I went earlier and creating another stitch. And now I'm going to go to the second stitch on the circle and creating the same exact stitch. That way there are two stitches per each stitch in the first ring. So my first ring had five stitches. Your second ring should have a total of ten. And when you're done, you're just going to close it the same way. Just put your hook through the very first stitch, pull some string through both of the loops, and you created the second ring on your circle. I expanded my circle one more time so it has a third ring to make the circle a little bit larger. Some of the stitches had one to one and some of them had two to one. So this is what my circle looks like so far. For the arms of my star, I'm just going to do some simple chains. I put a total of three simple chains going out, as you can see. I'm going to take my hook and place it through the second chain I created. Once I put it through, I'm going to take some yarn and pull through this chain and there should be two loops on your hook. Pull some yarn and pull through the first loop but not the second one. Take some more yarn and pull through the last two. Next one, I'm going to take some yarn on my hook first, then put it through the third chain. Pull some string through the little hoop and you should have three loops on your hook. Pull some yarn and pull it through two of them and pull some yarn and pull through the last two. And this is my little arm. I'm going to attach it to my circle, so I'm just going to lay it down and see which one it falls through. I'm going to put my needle through that stitch, pull some yarn, there should be two little loops, and I'm just going to pull that loop through my original loop on the star arm. So let's do this one more time. I'm just going to make a simple chain. So just take three simple chains, as you can see. I'm going to take my crochet hook, and I'm going to place it through the second chain I created. Grab some yarn through that chain and you should have a loop, two of them, on your hook. 
grab some yarn and pull through the first one and grab some more yarn and pull through the remaining two. Now you're gonna take some yarn first and you're gonna put it through the third chain. Once you get it through, you're gonna pull some yarn and pull through that chain. You should have three loops. Take some yarn and pull through two and take some more yarn and pull through the last two. Then you're going to position the arm onto the circle and see where it falls. Once you have it there, you're going to take your crochet needle and stitch it through the stitch that it falls at. You're gonna take some yarn and you're gonna pull through the, the circle base and the arm of the star. And you should complete it two little arms of your star. Just repeat the process until you have five little arms. So this is the very last arm I have. As you can see, when I position the arm onto the circle base, it pretty much lines up with the very first arm that I created. And once you completed that, you can see this is what your star looks like so far. To round off the edges of my star, I'm just going to form a simple chain all along the perimeter of the star. So as you can see, all I'm going to do is take my crochet hook. I'm going to go through the next stitch. And once I get it through the next stitch, I'm going to pull some yarn. There should be two loops on your hook and pull some yarn through the two loops. Go through the next one, put your hook through, pull some yarn through and you should have two loops and pull some yarn through the two loops. And I'm just going to go all the way around the perimeter of the star and it really rounds off and makes the star larger. So this is what it looks like when I'm done. As you can see, it's really cute. I'm just going to cut off the remaining yarn and I'm just going to pull it through this loop that I have to knot it and make sure it doesn't unravel. Now for the fun part, you're going to create two of these and I'm going to make a tiny miniature plushie out of them. You can choose to crochet or sew them together, but I chose to hot glue them because I love my hot glue gun and it's really easy to do. Just squeeze some glue onto the edges of your star and stick the two pieces together. Try to line up the edges as close together as possible so it looks really nice when you're done with the project. Before I completely line up all of the edges together, I went ahead and stuffed the extra yarn that I had into the center and glued it so it forms a tiny little plushie. Now to decorate the face, you can make some eyes. I made these from polymer clay and glazed them earlier and all I did was hot glue them onto my star. If you wanted to use animal eyes or make bigger ones, smaller ones, the world is your oyster. For the mouth, I decided to use some sewing string because it's really thin and I can make a really tiny mouth with it and I just hot glued it into a U shape to form a cute little smile. And of course, I took some pink eyeshadow and just dabbed it right underneath the eyes so that my little stars can be blushing just a little bit. These are the clips I decided to use for my project. I bought them at my local craft store. I decided to hot glue my stars on top of them, but if you don't have them, you can use paper clips or whatever it is that you have at home to form a little clip for your planner or book or whatever it is you want. And of course, like I said earlier, if you don't even want to make clips, you can use these stars for anything else. They would make a great little pin for your blazer or jacket. They make a really cute hair clip. Whatever it is you decide to use these stars for, I think they make anything super cute and will instantly bring a smile on your face. I don't think this project in particular was too difficult. I hope that this video and tutorial was easy enough for you guys to follow. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And of course, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my username is FlyingMeo. You can check out pictures of future tutorials to come. And of course, I always look around to see what you guys created. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye!